So what I wanted to do with this program is give you as much material as possible to diversify your playing, to jazzify your playing. Not just material about what you can play, not just material about how you can play, but taken together, things that can help you take your playing to the next level. What I want to do is use this concept and just show you how you can work up and create a jazzy idea based on a triad you want to play. Let's take C major. Okay, I said again, diatonically. So upper, lower neighbor, and then arriving on the first, the third, the fifth, and the octave. Okay, that's your diatonic upper, lower neighbor tone to C, D, B, C, okay? Now, diatonic getting to the E, right? Because I said we're gonna do upper, lower to C, upper, lower to E, upper, lower to G, upper, lower to C, okay? So it would be this, D, B, C, and then for E, what would it be? It'd be F, D, E. So putting them together, D, B, C, and then F, D, E. So again, I'm trying to get to these four notes, but I'm gonna start above one and below one. So above the C, below the C, C. And now I need to get to E. Above the E, below the E, diatonically, E. I need to get to G. Above the G, below the G, G. And then this one, back to C. Okay. That's upper lower neighboring tone diatonically. That doesn't mean you can't mix things in, right? You could still use half steps. Those are the half steps away, but that's not part of C major. So the idea of upper lower neighbor can be used diatonically over C major or just say, you know what, I'm still going to enclose chord notes. I'm still gonna use this concept, but I actually, let me mix it up. There's diatonic, there's not diatonic, there's diatonic. There's all sorts of different stuff that you can do. You can also do upper, excuse me, lower upper. All right, so I'm going lower upper one, first degree. Then I'm doing lower upper three, third degree. Then I'm doing to get to this fifth degree, lower upper fifth degree. And to get to the C, lower upper C, to that degree. So in the case of C, that's kind of what you're looking at. If you were looking at it in a different key, it would be different. If you were looking at it where C is the five of F, you would have different notes, right? So it really, really just depends what you're actually looking for. Let's look at uh, it minor. So if you, if you remember when I was just doing, looking at arpeggios, not everything has to go the same way either. So if I look at F minor, as I said I would, um, let's start going to, um, so there's a natural minor, okay? Okay, there's, this is one of the scales you play over, uh, over minor. Or Dorian, which is effectively D to D, if you look at that from a modal perspective, okay? Minor, one, two, three, four, five. Six is actually major. So minor, six is actually major. So that's using a Dorian mode, and that's something that I go over in JITC. So I'm gonna use it this way over F minor. So just so you know the harmony I'm basing it on. Um, okay. It depends, I can start on the root too. Or do the one, three, five, seven. One, three, five. And then you can mix it up even with thirds, right? Okay, two concepts kind of mixing together, arpeggiated thirds in this upper lower neighboring tone kind of concept. Hey, thanks for going with me and taking a look at that clip. That's something I really enjoy. I hope you did too. It's something I use all the time and definitely wanted to get that shared with you. Keep your eyes peeled for another one in the works.